Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Alexandra. Welcome to another video. So as you can already see by the title of the video, I am gonna go over why I left EXP Realty. I joined them back in late April when um, I first got my license. And I'm gonna share with you guys the good, the bad, and just my overall experience with EXP Realty. And this isn't to talk bad about them or convince you to go to them. This is just giving you my experience. If you are a new agent and considering EXP Realty or you just wanna kinda hear about EXP Realty, this is um, gonna be hopefully a helpful video for you. And if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It does help out the algorithm and helps my channel grow. So I would really appreciate it if you do like the content because there's plenty of real estate content coming too. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into why I left EXP Realty. Okay, so I first wanted to go over like the getting started process, right? So they, when you first signed up, they kind of gave me like a little checklist to make sure I signed up with the board, to get with my mentor, to pay my dues, um, just like little checklists like that, go over some of the training videos they had. Most of those training videos were like how to like use their system and stuff like that since they're all an online, you know, based brokerage, right? There's no like direct office you go to unless your sponsor that you sign up with has like an office or access to an office. So um, I went through all that, you know, I thought everything was like, you know, fine and easy. I didn't have any problems with it. And then, um, you know, I was just continuing. I didn't really have a great understanding of what our MLS system did. And so I just thought whatever properties were on there is what I could see. I thought we had access to, you know, everything. I didn't realize that since each different area has different MLSs, um, I'm not gonna see all the properties unless an agent that is part of a different MLS is also a part of my MLS and shares that um, information with both systems, right? So I didn't know that and I found this out later on when I was interviewing um, a different brokerage. Um, the lady kinda was asking me questions and I looked at her <laughs> like a deer in the headlights. I had no idea what she was talking about. Um, and so that's kind of one of like my my cons towards EXP. They kind of gave you like the basics of like what you needed to do, mostly because like you need to pay your dues in order to be with them, right? So, and you need to be registered with a board in order to do any business. So that was kind of like the basics for them, but they didn't, and it's not really their job to explain to you about the MLS, but also like, my mentor nor my sponsor, same person, um, they didn't go over that with me. It was just kind of assumed I knew stuff. And, um, you know, I mean, I probably should have asked a little more questions, but it's for me, it's hard to ask questions when I don't even know what I don't know, right? So, um, but that's okay, I'll take that up on me. And then I do watch a lot of like YouTube videos, like with real estate agents, and I keep seeing them like with the like, smart key, the E key, and I was like, oh, so when I sign up for my board, it's automatic. Great. Um, again, when I was talking to a different lady, she had told me, um, no, you need to request access for it. It's a different application. And then you need to ask for special access if I'm looking for anything um, along the beach line. Um, it's just something that you have to do. And I didn't know that, nor was I ever told that. So I was a bit frustrated when I did find that out because I had already been, you know, three, four months in and I'm trying to look at properties for like my one friend and I'm not even having access to all the properties that I thought I was. And if I did want to go see it, I wouldn't be able to get in because I don't even, I'm not even set up with like e-key or like, you know, approved for it. So I would have no way of getting in and I would have looked really bad in front of them. So. Luckily, I was told that, so I did now apply for the e-key and I heard back, so now I'll be able to get started with it. But that was definitely like a frustrating point for me because when you're a new agent, again, you don't know what to ask. You don't know, you know, things. You kind of like learn as you go or learn as you do, but I wasn't doing anything. So it was just kind of like, I was just kind of sitting there doing nothing, right? So that was, that was a bit frustrating for me. And since you don't have like an in office like experience and my mentor was just like a mentor slash sponsor he wasn't like a broker or anybody that people really go to like when you first sign up so um i felt like i was really lacking that experience or lacking um kind of someone 
you know, really guiding me step by step. Um, my mentor was great in the sense of like, I would ask him questions and he would always like, give me an answer, give me an explanation as to why things were, you know, a certain way. But, you know, I had, he was busy with his own thing. So I had to ask questions. He wasn't just like throwing information at me. And um, I get it, it's like a mentorship. So like, that's totally understandable. But with without him doing that, I didn't have anyone else to go to. So that's kind of what I felt frustrated on. Um, so I thought that, I thought the getting started was good, like in a sense, but it, it, they definitely don't tell you everything when you're signing up. So that's why I really like my new brokerage because they literally gave me a folder with everything I needed to do. Obviously I'm not a brand new agent. So I did a lot of the stuff like signing up with the board, you know, the licensing stuff, all that stuff. But, um, you know, like they gave it to you, right? And so I thought that was really great. Training, again, EXP has hundreds of hours of training online. I just felt like it didn't go really specific or really like into the steps that you take when you first have a buyer, when you first have a seller, like every single step. And that's what I need. I need someone to go through with me every single step so I know the order, I know what to expect, and then I'll be good on my own after that. But um I am very clear when I speak to people and I was very clear when I first joined eXp that that's what I needed, that I need it from A to Z one or two times so I know the whole process, so I know what to expect. And then from there I could ask questions um, as I go or you know ask questions that come up um, when they're going over a specific part of the process. So I just felt like that's where it lacked on like the personal one-on-one -on -one training and you know kind of learning the process because eXp is you know, EXP world is an online thing and you have everything access online. So with that being said, on just like the whole getting started part, I definitely feel as an experienced agent, you wouldn't have, you know, too much to worry about because you have everything kind of set up and you don't need exactly that guidance or someone to tell you what you need. So um, if you're not a new agent, definitely it won't be a problem for you. If you are a new agent, just make sure to like just sit with someone and ask like, what is everything I need access to? How do I make sure I can access all these properties throughout the state? And how to make sure I can get into these properties when I do go visit. Um, if they aren't in your MLS, you'll have to like maybe reach out to the agent that's, you know, handling that property or, you know, just figure it out. Um, but definitely it's more experienced agent friendly than new agent friendly. So the second thing I wanted to go over was like the office experience, right? So we had an office, but because um, one of the guys on like, I don't want to say a team because it wasn't a team, but like our little group had an office and we, we had access to that office and um, we could go there. It was about like 45 minute drive for me. So I wasn't going too often, especially because like it would just be going there to work. It wouldn't be like going for like trainings or, you know, meeting up with like my mentor or anything. It, it would have been just for me to work and I could do the same thing at home. And I just didn't even have work, right? I'm a new agent, so I didn't really feel the need to go there. Um, and plus there's no like actual brokers there or anything to like help you through anything. So, and I didn't have anything going on. So there was no need for me to go to the office. I do prefer the in-person experience just cause like I feel like I could be more productive. I have less distractions going on. When I'm home, I like to just like end up cleaning everything all the time. So being in office allows me to just focus on work and then when I'm home, I could focus on cleaning or whatever I wanna do around the house at that point. The third point is just like the guidance offered, right? So again, I have a mentor and um, he would host like uh, daily calls you know, and we would kind of go over what went on throughout the day. And like, it was like a group of us calling in and what went on throughout the day, the good, if we need help with anything. But again, like I didn't have anything. So I didn't need help with anything because I have nothing going on. So I didn't find it too helpful for me personally. Um, I know a lot of people on the call liked it, um, obviously, cause like they were all doing stuff and they could, you know, bounce ideas back and forth and get opinions on how to handle a certain situation. And it was, it was like nice for me to hear sometimes because some of it, like I like, I could take it into account. So if I ever experienced anything like that, I can, but overall I didn't feel like the calls were too, too helpful. So I stopped going to them. So yeah, I stopped going to them um, or 
calling into them. With that, all that being said, again, I think EXP for experienced agents is definitely the way to go. You could build a team without building a team. You could, you know, recruit people, make your money that way if that's what you want to do. Um, you know, you're more independent. You already know what you need to do, so you don't need access to as many resources. And they do have resources in their EXP world, but you know who to go to. You know, you know more of what you're doing, right? Or who you need to reach out to and stuff like that. I don't think it's new agent friendly at all. And, um, you know, I may consider going back once I'm like more experienced and, you know, want a larger cut of like my sales and stuff and not pay royalties and all that fun stuff. But for now, I'm willing to take a hit on like a little bit of my commission check in order to learn the entire process and do things properly and just set a foundation for myself because this is going to be my career. This isn't just like a hobby I'm doing, right? This is like my career. This is, you know, my livelihood. So I am willing to take a little hit on that to just get the full experience and full knowledge that I need in order to be successful. And so now to hear where I went. So before signing with EXP, I did interview Coldwell Banker and Keller Williams. And um, that, that they were both great. Um, they just didn't feel like the right fit to me, like the offices I interviewed. And then I decided to go with EXP. And then once I realized I wanted to start looking at new brokerages, I did um, look at a brokerage in Winter Park, which is like the area I really like and it's called Weicker Realtors Hallmark Properties. Um, they have 20 offices in the state of Florida, but um, they're originally from New Jersey. It's a very well-known company up in the Northeast, and they have an amazing training system. They have amazing processes, and I'm all for like having a process. I love it. I love the organization of you know having structure. I love structure. So um, when I went for my interview, they went over all the training they provided for the month. Um, they, prov they went over like kind of stuff they host in like their office. She told me how, you know, agents do like come to actively work in the office regularly. She's always there. Um, I, if I ever need any help, um, let's say I'm in a different area and I need to like meet with a client in that area. I could always use their office if it's like open um, or if no one's using the space, right? So I have I have a ton of resources. Um, all the classes are in person and I just feel like I thrive better that way. Um, and I'm just really excited. I, I just honestly, I fell in love with the structure. Um, I do have to pay a royalty and I do have a larger cut taken out. But like I said, I'm willing to take that hit in order to learn the process correctly and thoroughly because this is not a hobby to me. If it was a hobby, I would not be spending so much time on it and I would not have quit my nine to five job to pursue my hobby. Like that's just, that's just not how I took it. So I am really excited to start with this company. I already went to one training and it was very helpful. Um, I love going in person because you, they give you like examples or like their experience with certain things as they're teaching you a topic, which I find really helpful to relate to what I'm actually learning. And that's why I love in-person classes because like online, you're just going to get the direct information and you interpret it how you will. But with someone explaining to you and giving you their experiences, it's completely different. And it's it, to me, it's so much better. So I really liked that about them. So yeah, so that's the new brokerage I'm going to, and the goal is just to learn as much as I can and be, be successful in this business and share with you guys my journey because I was really excited to start real estate content when I started EXP, and I just wasn't really doing anything to where I could share it with you guys, right? So now, hopefully, with um, this new brokerage, hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting more in the hang of things and like doing things on my own to where I can share that with you because as a new agent, I look at videos and trying to see what they went through when they first started. And I find it, you know, helpful to see everyone's experience. So hopefully my experience can help someone else out and just following along on my journey, seeing how I grow. And, you know, this, this may be my career forever. This may not, I don't know. And I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm really excited for it. And I'm really passionate about it.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to new agents considering, you know, brokerages. And then also like if you are an experienced agent and you were thinking about EXP, then you kind of hear my experience with it. Again, this is all my personal experience. Everyone has a different experience with it. And I think you just have to do what decision is best for you. But yeah, I hope you found it helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys are looking forward to more real estate content because I've just been dying to provide you guys with like days in the life of a realtor, days in the life of a real estate agent, days in the life of just like being busy and doing things that make me happy. So I hope you guys choose to subscribe if you guys want to see more content like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.